Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you the basics of viewing your wrist heart rate information on your Casio G-Shock Module QW3475 watch. Now I'm going to show you everything on the watch. This is a smart watch. You could also use the G-Shock Move app to go view some of your heart rate information from the watch on your cell phone app. There's a few different ways to use the heart rate information on here. One of the ways is going to be when you're doing the run activity. I won't be showing you that. It's kind of hard to show you that when I'm sitting at a desk. You can actually set different settings for your heart rate. One of those is being that it only measures heart rate when you're in a run activity. The other thing you can do is you can turn it off completely or you can set it to where it's always on. So as long as the watch is on your wrist, it will be measuring your heart rate. That's what I have mine currently set to. I can tell that because in my timekeeping mode, I can see a heart icon down here at the bottom that tells me that I have heart rate monitoring turned on right now. This is what's called the timekeeping mode. You've got multiple modes on this watch. One of those is the heart rate mode. We'll look at that here in a second. I did want to mention that from your main timekeeping mode, if you want to see your heart rate information, the display button is the top left button. They give you a couple can displays that you can choose from. This is one of them. You'll notice the heart rate does not show in this one. But if I press the mode button a couple of times, one of the views does show my heart rate information on my watch face. So if you wanted to see your heart rate information all day long, you could use this view. I've got my time date information down here at the bottom. Up top, I have my current heart rate, my high, my max heart rate for the last 24 hours, as well as my minimum heart rate. I shouldn't say for the last 24 hours, for the current day. Those values will always be displayed on your watch face. You can leave it like that forever and it will not change. If you don't want to have that information on your watch face, you don't have to. Again, you can choose any other display. And then you can always go to the heart rate mode. We're going to go to our different modes by pressing the bottom left button on the watch. That will take us into our different modes. The first one you get to should be your heart rate mode. Now, it might look like this, or if you press the display button, it could look like this. This is more of a basic view. Those are just two different display options you have under your heart rate zone. This one shows your time up at the top, your current heart rate, and then you've got this little graph down here that's just moving to show you that it's measure, measuring your heart rate. The previous display that we saw shows a line graph down here at the bottom. It shows my minimum and my max. My Again, the values we saw in my watch face, my max for the day, my minimum for the day, my current heart rate, and then I've got this 24-hour trend down here at the bottom. Now, this is a mode so if you leave it in the heart rate mode, after a few minutes, it will kick you back to your main timekeeping mode. You can do that manually by going ahead and just pressing the back button to get back to your timekeeping mode. Pretty simple stuff. Those are going to be the basic ways you can view your heart rate information on your Casio G-Shock. Now again, when you go to a run activity, it will show you your heart rate information on there as well. Can't show you that, but just in terms of basic checking your heart rate, that's how we do it on our G-Shock. QW3475 watch. I hope the video helps.